new project. Choose Visual Basic. Select Windows. Select Windows Forms Application. Write your application name. Write your solution name and press OK. Add new items. Select code and select code file. Write your code file name for example invoke permission and press add. Information, Information Technology, technology Tools, technology tools unlimited. 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 ITTU.com ITTU 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 This is permission key for create EFP file. This is author verification DLL file to check if invoker is legal. This submain very important to start your application. This is secret key to give permit for invoker to run and start your application. You may change secret key maximum in 32 characters or using MD5. Verification function check if secret key of application equal invoker. This section for start form please choose your form name. Uncheck Enable Application Framework. Select Submain from signing this setting startup object. Select x86 from target CPU or check prefer 32-bit.
Let's go to create EFP file. Start create EFP. Select your .NET language. Click on the open to choose your assembly file. Please fill all fields. Before create EFP, please check your dot application have the permission key. Before create EFP, please check your dot application have the permission key. Press on Create EFP. The process has successfully Now must create new project C++ native for invoke your EFP file. Add new project. Select Visual C++. Select General. Select Empty Project. Write your project name for example run executable Visual Basic and press OK. Choose Add New Item. Select C++ File. Write the file name for example main and press OK. Now write invoker code from documentation or copy and paste. This is include same using and import in .NET and also namespace. This is invoke function will invoke your EFP file by invoke DLL file. Invoke call invoke function must write your EFP file and secret key to run and start your application. Check your secret key it's the same in .NET. Check your secret key it's the same in .NET. Let's go to change some option before build. Select project. Press project for menu. Choose properties. Select linker. And press on system. Choose windows subsystem windows form subsystem. Select debugging. And choose no from generate debugging info. And also choose no from debuggable assembly. Select Manifest File from Linker and choose Inno from Generate Manifest.
Let's go now to Build Invoker. Select Project and choose Build for Menu and choose Build or Rebuild. working legally and successfully. Thank you very much for watching. We wish you continued success. This explaining by N. N. Mohammed Nada Nemo.